Welcome to a new video of Phoenix Mods Review. Today I'm going to show you the new Phoenix releases of December. So if you want to get them before Christmas, you can probably forget it because man, until they deliver it and everything. And so on and so on. First you have to Uzbekistan or Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, probably, I don't know. Tuberlef 2154M. We saw Uzbekistan um, last month with the 757. Um, yeah, Russian planes, I don't care. Livery is quite okay, but yeah, let's leave it like this. Then this one was postponed from November to December. Aeroflot Boeing 737-800. Nothing special with winglets, and yeah, let's go on. China, no, no, sorry, Sichuan or Sichuan Airlines, I don't know, A321 with sharklets, that's really, really cool. I'm not sure whether this is the first A321 with sharklets, could be. Then we have another great model, in my opinion, Singapore Airlines a 340 dash. 300 yes 50 years anniversary special livery probably phoenix did this one because the 747 was pretty popular i can guess so yes phoenix wants the money of the people you can definitely see this in with this example here then the brand new 7478 british cargo g dash gss F. Um, I really didn't know before that there were um, um, the British Airways has cargo, and I'm pretty surprised that when I saw this plane on the Phoenix model model page. So, but anyway, let's go on. Here we have Air France. Um, got got or. 80 years in English um, A380 why always Air France I think Phoenix please let the dream come true and do the EK A380 in normal mode um, you can do it with Expo 2020 or 2022 logo but please not Air France. I just don't like Air France because Charles de Gaulle, their hub is one of their, I think, worst airports. And people are not happy with it. But anyway, we're happy to see this model. Then we have Air France Cargo 747 400F. Um, nice to see Air France Cargo. I really also didn't know that Air France has cargo. So. I'm surprised. Um, then we have the A320 Air France with chocolates. Um, or um, 8 years, definitely not for me. And then we have finally the last and fourth Air France model. Um, too many Air France models are in this release. Um, 747, normal, everything. My parents flew once with this plane, so yeah, I sh could consider to get this, but yeah, I most likely won't get it. Then, this one is now cool, really. Singapore Airlines 777-300ER. Um, cool, re cool release, I, I just can say. Then we have the Oman Air A330-200 um, with winglets, special winglets. Probably I'll get this one with antennas and so on. Really, really cool and um, probably I'll get this one. Yes. Then we have the MD-11 McDonnell Douglas China Eastern. Um, B-2173 is the registration, not for me, um, I don't care about China Eastern, sorry guys. And again, different registration, not for me, why two different registrations? Money is the reason, I think. 
Um, Airbus A330 ish, 300 Shanghai Airlines. Um, looks quite cool, but not for me because I don't like gray airplane bellies. So let's move on. Air Berlin A320. I flew with this airplane. Not the same registration. HB-IO set. I think this could be the newest member of the um, Swiss registration Air Berlin fleet. Um, probably I'm going to get this because I flew with HB-IOS and IOP, I think. I'm not pretty sure, but I think these were the two planes. And some other planes, but um, yeah. Then we have again A320 of Air Berlin with another registration, German registration, um, D dash A B D Q. Um, I'm asking you why two registration. You could argue that the German registration would be enough, and or just the Swiss. But anyway, we're happy to have both of them. Then we have Air China, Smiling China, Boeing 777-300DR, not for me, probably some people, Asian, will like it, but not me. Well, it's a, I don't care about it, let's say it this way. Then we have a, the A321 of China Southern, um, quite cool, but without winglet, so, yeah, but I like the A321. It's my um, favorite narrow body aircraft, so let's move on. Here we have the Sky Team Middle East Airlines A320 200 um, with the Sky Team Livery. Middle Eastern Airlines is the national airline of um, Lebanon, I think. Um, quite cool to have a uh, A320 with Sky Team livery. A320 Shark Huts, by the way. Then we have again A321 Star Lines of Ewire, the newest member of Star Lines. Um, yeah, I like Star Lines, but I don't really care about Evo Air, so yeah, not for me. Then we have Saudi Arabian Sky Team A320. 200 without winglets, sad, sad, but I think um, for every Sky Team collector it's a great airplane. Then we have the Boeing 737-800 and I see again Xiamen or Xiamen Air. Why so many Xiamen or Xiamen Air? I don't get it, why? Um, do they sell so well in Asia? Well. I don't know. Then we have another great A321. Yuneyao Airlines never heard before. Looks for me like a bit the logo of Kyrgyzstan, but it looks like Chinese and uh, a Chinese airline. Um, again with sharklets. Then we have probably the most interesting plane here. The newest member of One World Qatar Airways with their freshly new Pinto 777-300ER in One World colors. Um, this could get quite rare, I think, and I think it's really a good plane. But you have to decide for yourself if you want to get it or not. Then we have one 200 scale model, I think. 787 um, yeah of course not for me too expensive and I'm not sure whether they've added antennas it's a bit pixel this photo but they could have added antennas to the 1 to 200 scales this would be awesome yes and these are the models you can see it here um, I can't go any further um, I think some cool models, but in general, um, not a special month, not many planes you should or I c should consider to get. Um, yes, 
I am hoping for January to have some new awesome releases. And um, yeah, I hope you like this video and we will see you soon again in another one.